we're going to look at how to insert page breaks so that all of your um, thesis perhaps doesn't flow from one part to the next without any any breaks because we should start new chapters for example on new pages so if i just want to insert a page break usually and um, then what i would do is i could go to insert and then click page break okay um So I could do it that way, or I could go to layout and then breaks and then here click page and it will do the same thing. OK. Um, however, what I want to do is I want to um, perhaps insert page breaks throughout my preliminary um, headings, but then insert a new section when my chapters begin, when the main body of my thesis begins. So I'm going to do that now. So I have my title page on the first page, then I'm going to have an abstract on a new part. So I insert my page break, again for my acknowledgements, again for my table of contents, again for my list of tables, my list of abbreviations. But for my first chapter, rather than go page break, I'm going to introduce a section break. So I'm going to click next page here. And you'll see it looks the same, but it allows us to um, do other important things um, with the document. Okay. So um, I'm going to show you how to uh, restart your footnotes after each chapter okay so as we can see here i've got chapter one um, and here i've got chapter two so what i'm going to do is again insert section break okay even if it looks like it's on the next the beginning of the next page make sure that that section break has been introduced OK, so what I'm going to do just for the sake of this demonstration is I'm going to copy this part of text and I'm going to paste it here. OK, so here I'm going to change this um, to um, two point. OK, because the reason it starts with two is because I'm in chapter two. So here you can see it starts with one because it's chapter one. OK, um, and I'm going to make this uh, heading two because this is a heading one. OK, the reason I've done this is because I wanted to have a footnote on each chapter, because in longer theses, you might be required to restart your footnotes um, in each section. So how you would do that is Start by making sure that each chapter has been separated by introducing a section break. Um, and then after that, what we do is we go down to the footnotes. OK, so I'm going to right click footnotes, right click on the, the little number with the footnote. I'm going to click footnote. OK. And then we're brought to this window. OK. So here we have the number format because we're using one, two, three match section layout. That's fine. Your footnotes need to be at the bottom of your page. But this is where we can restart our footnotes at each section. So rather than restarting every single page, we'll restart each section. OK, apply to whole document because that will save us having to go back and do this every time, although you might choose to just in your proofreading and then click apply. And you'll see that it has restarted number one. So we have our first footnote in chapter one. And then again, we have footnote one of chapter two. Now, whether you're required to restart your footnotes 
might depend on um, your research degrees handbook, your regulations, and it might depend on the length of your dissertation. Okay, so another part that I'm going to demonstrate is how to restart your page numbers after your preliminary section. So your research degrees handbook might require that your preliminary section, so the preliminary section being the parts before your, your chapters um, start. So for example, title page through to list of abbreviations. Your research degrees handbook might require that your preliminary stage is numbered using um, Roman numerals. So what we would do is we go to um, insert page number and here we can format our page numbers, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to change it to Roman numerals and then we're going to apply. It hasn't been added yet because I need to go back and insert page number. I'll do it on the right hand side, okay? Um, when you've already preset your your main um, your your main body of text by modifying the normal the default style that applies to word documents you'll find that the page numbers automatically use the font that you're using for your main body of text and um, but if you haven't do that done that then make sure that you go into your footnotes uh, into your foot footer you click on the um, the page number and you um, modify that yourself because that again is really important for style. Okay, so what it's done is because we've introduced a section break, it knows to start the beginning with these Roman numerals, but then begin the first section with a, a, a number as we would typically see, okay? But what you want to do is you want to make sure that the chapter one actually um, restarts the numbering, okay? So here it says number seven, and you want to make sure that instead that is um, number one. So when you go to page number, you go back to formatting, and rather than continue from previous section, you want to make sure it starts at one. OK, and you'll see that that is applied. Now, thereafter, you'll see that even though we introduced a section break um, between chapter one and chapter two, chapter two still continues that numbering as normal. And that's fine. You want to make sure that your all of your chapters follow um, the, the same numbering system. You don't need to um, restart your page numbers at every chapter. OK. So that's how to um, change the page numbers from the preliminary section to the main body of text.